Hey everybody, uh, this is a design that I actually created myself. It was just out of a whim and it just happened, so pretty proud of it. What I've done so far is I've siliconed the bottom and the parts that are touching the edges of the mold uh, and placed the pieces in the mold. I've, I'm, now I'm just going to actually drop some heavier resin discs that we have from previous pours, just excess bits that we have. And I'm gonna rest them on top so it creates a little bit of pressure, acts as kind of just a free weight clamp um, to push everything down uh, so the silicone holds it so when we pour it, the pieces aren't gonna float back to the surface. All right, so Joe's got these, uh, these four molds together here for us. So we're just gonna kind of walk through, show you what we're gonna pour. And we, we kind of have an idea for a couple of them what we want to do for color, but we, we're honestly not 100% sure yet, so we're just gonna kinda... One, one of them we're 100% on. Yeah, we are. We're, we're doing the smoky green. Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one, we think we're actually gonna do, this is one of the ones that we think we know. We, we're gonna try deep blue, just cause that's like, probably one of our most popular colors. Yeah. Everyone on Instagram loves it too, so we wanna teach you guys how we make that. Then there's two over there. Is this, is this one fire? I think that's fire. Sure it's I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah. It's it's a somewhat softer piece right now because it, it's an older piece and it's super dry. Yeah, it's um, kind of rotten a little too, right? It's kind of rotten. Um, we're hoping to completely cast this. Is I think this is going to be our first cast art piece. Yeah, where it's like just a just poxy. completely covered. Yeah. on top. So that's these that's might be show. super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, that, yeah. Would, that would actually be like cool. little just islands. Like, yeah. Yeah. Be pretty cool. So we'll, we'll probably do something kind of more clear for this one. A little bit of uh, pigment, so can, but mostly clear. So you can see everything in the grain. Yeah. And then we got this one. This one's cool. Um, the angle. Yeah, we have kind of like a, a chaotic effect coming from this guy here, and then kind of like a straight border, so it counters art. <laughs> art. Yeah, just art. That's what this one is. Art. Yeah. <laughs> But I think this is a piece of uh, Canadian big leaf maple, yeah. and the, this is our Canadian black walnut. This piece is cool too, it's got all worm holes and rot in it. And then we just did like a 45 to make it go continuous. And I'm getting a phone call. Nice. Damn. I'll take it later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, like we blended the edges on the, on the live edge here, so they actually fit in quite nicely. That one's not fantastic. No. <laughs> but this one is beautiful. Yeah, that one's sweet. So, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Then, the big kahuna. The piece de resistance. <laughs> this one's crazy. This all, is, all walnut. This is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's pretty proud of this one. This is fantastic. It's the best thing we've ever created here. This one we're not gonna do <laughs> smoky green, for sure. We are. We're doing smoky green. Don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, maybe we will. We, we probably will, but when we we are we are gonna do We're smoky green. Smoky. <laughs> but when I think actually smoky green is one of my favorite colors. It is ever my done. favorite. Yeah, it is my absolute yeah. favorite. We only did one table with it, and it was like a piece of Clara walnut, and it wasn't even a river. It was just in like a few pockets. Yeah, it was just a few pockets. Yeah, but this what we want to do? We want to pour in the middle first, and then our our goal is our hope is that it's the the epoxy should just like spiral around all the way to kind of the outside, and then we might just have to fill up those little pockets, but this one's gonna be sweet. I think we should do this one first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it! <laughs> We're gonna do our smoky green. Joe has just forced us to do this here. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna make it so like the way we actually make this color is we do the the base like kind of that nice green color that we're trying to go for and then we just add in so like for well for the green I'll show you we're using avocado that's what that one looks like and the macarena and the mac macarena <laughs> margarita <laughs> and that's what that one looks like so kind of just some nice green colors I don't know what kind of greens you would call those light greens. Yep. What's the word? <laughs> green. Green. Yes, they're green. And then we're using um, black diamond. So this is basically just their black pigment, but the diamond is where you see all those sparkles, so it'll just make it a little more sparkly. One thing with the metallics too is like you don't need a lot. Like we're going to probably start with that from each green. So I'll put like a little bit of the 
avocado in, and then I'll put like the same amount of the margarita in there. And then we'll probably mix that, see what our green looks like, and then decide if we need more green, or if we're ready to add in the, the black diamond. And these metallics are what give you like texture, and kind of that swirled sort of look. If you just use liquid dyes, they wouldn't do that. Now we're gonna start adding our, our black in there till we get a color we're happy with. We, we made our color there actually, and we determined that after we had it mixed, it was kind of like too green, so we added some of the midnight blue to darken it up a little bit, and then to get more of a, a turquoise color to it, instead of just a green, we added some of this Caribbean from Ecopoxy. So that was our, that was what we did to really get this look in the color there. There we go. go. All right, so here we're gonna be testing out this uh, newer pigment. Uh, it's the Black Diamond Ghost Blue Pearl. So it kind of looks white right now. It has a little bit of like an iridescent blue kind of color to it. It should be changing to a more blue kind of color when we uh, drop it in the resin. So here we go. We just did our blue. It was crazy. Yeah, it's actually unbelievable. Like this, we're all we're all sitting here talking right now for like the past five, 10 minutes about how we think this is the one of the nicest colors I think we've ever done. Cause when it was in the bucket, it didn't look like that much pigment. No, it didn't. Yeah, it looked like it was pretty light and almost kind of see-through. And then we poured it on and it was like super blue. Super blue. And now it's it's doing this. And you can see like patterns being created by all the bubbles that are coming up. Yeah, like right here. You can see the bubbles still coming up out of the actual wood because the, the resin's soaking in. Yeah. Oh, look and at that. And it's creating a ripple effect. Like guess, out from the bubbles. Yeah. So we definitely so cool. want to start using these colors more. Like this is going to be something we're going to experiment with a lot. And there'll probably be lots more YouTube videos on it. Yeah. And hopefully someone orders a table like this. Yeah. Because I would love to do one with this color. Our original plan with this video was to do some of the, the most popular colors we've had. And we're still gonna show our deep blue, which is probably like our most popular color out of everything. But after we did that, that kind of pearlescent, iridescent, I don't know what the proper word is, blue, yeah. uh, we, we like went crazy for it. So we wanna try a couple more of those colors and that's actually what we're gonna do for this pour. We're gonna use shimmery violet one and mix it with the shimmery blue. Yeah. And then we're gonna kind of add some colors, try and make it as cool as possible. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Go. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our, our deep blue. So what we usually do when we're making deep blue, like I've got the cobalt diamond blue, I've got some Maui. I'll show you just a little bit left there. That's all we're gonna need. Um, we add a little bit of a lighter blue just to kind of liven things up. Um, we also use the diamond deep sea blue. But the one thing that we do with our deep blue that kind of gives it that really kind of deep look is we actually add some purple into it. So there it is there. It's a really small amount just at the end, but it kind of just makes the whole color really rich and just look pops. nice. Yeah, it pops. So we'll start with the Cobalt Diamond. If you're buying any pigments from Black Diamond and you see diamond in the name, it's gonna be really sparkly. Let's put some Maui. The light blue and the purple, it's just a really small amount. 
As you can see, really small amount. Psych. Little bit of purple in there. <laughs> Whole thing. Just like that. Let's see how we did. We made the deep blue uh, using these five pigments here. Uh, again, it's the cobalt diamond blue, the Maui, Caribbean blue, deep diamond, diamond deep blue sea, got to get that one right, and the purple haze. So that is basically like bang on for what we usually do for deep blue. Now, we were going to pour this as deep blue, but we're just getting so carried away with all these pearl colors um, that we want to try this. So we've got the pure, pure white pearl. pearl. Pure pearl white. <laughs> pure pearl white. Nailed it. Say it First three times try. fast, go. Pure pearl white, pure pearl white, pure pearl white. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. Kapala. So we just want to add some of this in because we think it's going to look really good. So let's see. Wow, that looks really good. It's been about, well, two days since we did this pour, yeah. and then one day since the other two pours that we did, uh, the, the pink one and the, the blue one. This one, because we're using Ecopoxy and we went a little thick, we did like two and a half inches, it actually cured with tons and tons of bubbles in it, as you guys can see. So. We don't do everything perfectly. No, we don't. And it and it did set up too fast too because it was thicker. Uh, yeah. More heat expanded throughout of it, and it just kind of heated all the way throughout of it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. heated all the way throughout of it. Yeah, that so. makes sense. <laughs> Nailed it. Obviously, yeah. this wasn't the result we we're 100% going for, but we can still fix this. That's no issue. All we're gonna have to do is the other side might become the top, and then a few of these bubbles that go like really far down because some of them do go all the way down. Yeah. We're probably gonna have to refill and touch up those with more epoxy, but it's this no big thing's deal. gonna look super awesome still when we're done. Oh yeah, <laughs> it, it looks horrible now, but it's it's gonna look sweet when it's done. Then we got this one here. We couldn't, as you can see, like we didn't go all the way to the top just because we saw what happened to that other one, so we didn't want to pour it as thick. When was this? What time did we pour it yesterday? Uh, I think it was earlier in the morning, right? I think it was. Around. So it must have been around like 11. Yeah, like getting 11. close to lunch kind of. So the, yeah. the thin spots, you can see they're still sticky, but this is rock hard already completely. Oh, no, not there. I lied. <laughs> well, that's where it's like thinner. Yeah. Yeah, and that actually happens a lot on these pores. Like if you have a really big, thick area, it's going to generate more heat, and the heat is a catalyst to the chemical reaction, so it'll set up faster. So that's why this is hard. And then this, still obviously good. still very soft. And we got these two. We have mixed feelings on these ones. This one's awesome. This one's awesome. This I still think is one of the coolest ones we've done. Absolutely. Like this iridescent blue color. But then this pink one, it got kind of warm. Like you can still, you can actually feel the heat that comes off of it. And it kind of gave like a yellow tinge to it almost. Yeah. Which, we're not crazy about right now, but, but it, it might look cool when it's done. Also could have been part of the fact that we did add more, we added red dye to it, right? Ah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That probably could have done it, like the red, and it was kind of over here. Yeah. That we put the red, so we poured purple in through this, and then this part's more purple, yeah. sort of, and then this is kind of yellowy pink, but it, it might look cool when it's done. Yeah. It probably think, will still. I think still. it'll clean up a bit when we take a couple layers off the yeah. top. And yeah, it it'll, look pretty sweet. it'll be way nicer. But yeah, we just kind of wanted to show everyone the the different pigments that we use, like how we make these colors, how much pigment we're putting in, just because I know that's, like at least in the classes that we teach here, that's one of the biggest questions that students have is like, how do I know how much pigment? And we don't have recipes. No. Are you yawning? Yes. In a video. I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, we uh, there's no rhyme or reason, honestly, to when it comes to the pigment. It's just we add pigment till we like it, and that's about it. So we did. Did we use? Yeah, we used liquid dyes. We used metallic powders. I we guess used we like everything. we did. I guess the only thing we didn't show 
that we can show you guys is um, mica flakes. We don't really use these that much anymore, but it is an option. So it's like these little flakes, they're actually minerals. So when you mix them in with resin, the only thing you kind of have to be aware, aware of is that they all sink. Yeah. Like, they go sink, they'll land on the live edge inside and they'll land all over the bottom and none of them will really float in the middle. Maybe the odd couple pieces, but... And then they get machined off usually And then they get after. machined off, yeah. Yeah, so if you're gonna use mica flakes, it, maybe even you wanna pour a layer first. Yeah. So that your mica flakes don't get machined off. But we don't use them that often. No, we don't. So I hope you guys learned something today. Um, we wanted to show you all the different pigments we used. That's it for this week, and we'll be back next week probably to show you guys the rest of these pieces, and then hopefully turn in some of this stuff on a lathe. See you next Friday. Peace. <laughs>